a poem for Dave. What would it take for you to change your mind, Dave? What would it take for you to face the facts? A businessman working on a train. A benefit cost ratio of less than two. Empty seats on the West Coast Main Line. And all for the good of wealthy tycoons rushing to visit London. None of these, it seems. What would it take for you to change your mind, Dave? What would it take for you to see the light? Hundreds of people's homes demolished and thousands affected by blight. Farms and businesses wiped out. Dozens of ancient woodlands destroyed. The rape of the beautiful countryside. Carbon emissions on the rise. Unbearable noise for tens of thousands. None of these, it seems. What would it take for you to change your mind, Dave? What would it take for you to comprehend? HS1 is a similar beast, disastrous in so many ways. Change should be now, not in 20 years. London will benefit, not the North, with many fewer services for towns and cities off the line, but none of these matters, it seems. What would it take for you to change your mind, Dave? What would it take for you to understand? Another 10 billion on the cost? No, 40 more, says the Institute of Economic Affairs. Amber red from the Major Projects Authority. A damning report from the National Audit Office. One grand folly cries the Institute of Directors. We're not convinced, says the Public Accounts Committee. Serious shortcomings, insist the Treasury Select Committee. Ashcroft, Darling, Mandelson, Balls, can they all be so easily ignored? A blinkered view is nothing to be proud of, refusing to look at the facts and preferring fantasy for HS2 is holy vanity. So what would it take for you to change your mind, David Cameron and George Osborne, Patrick McLaughlin, Nick Clegg and Ed Miliband? Yes, what would it take for you to change your mind?